سایه اخکه just trying to start today by going around and each sharing something and sing it, which could be challenging, but our goal is language production and chances to do so in a safe environment. They don't have to be, you don't have to connect to anybody's thoughts. And then we're just going to try and stay in the language for as long as we can. So I would, when we're in English right now, and entertain some ideas on things we might talk about. It might help to sort of map out some uh, things. First of all, before we sort of close the door on the endangered English language. Any ideas? Topics for our immersion activity. Okay, I was thinking of Chish. Question? Oh, Naske Nachawe. And let me see if you guys <laughs> know if it's not loud enough. Turn up a little bit. If I get the mics too loud, they start to pick up. Crazy room noises, like in the fans. But we were just talking. Uh, the guys have any ideas of things we, we're, we're going to try to do? Is we'll all go around the room. We'll just share something. We're going once we start going around the room. We're going to say and then uh, we'll just have clink it, and everybody just says one thing. Doesn't have to connect. Just whatever. So you should be thinking of how, what those things might be right now. Uh, we do have three or four folks online, so we'll go around and here, and then we'll turn it over to folks online. Then I think we should just move into maybe some topics, or just throw some ideas out there on things that you would like us to talk about. Because I feel like if we don't, then I might just start rambling for a long time. And if, if we don't have ideas, then we can just sort of feel it out as we go along. To recap things that we've done before is we've described animals, and people have to guess which animal we're describing. We could do an activity like that. That's kind of a game. We've tried some big discussions on like clan migrations, but sometimes that gets a little sensitive. Um, so, here now we'll just go forward and make sure I'll keep an eye on the chat. We're now trying to kind of a new thing for Thursday so we can all just kind of sit together. But then I can't always check my computer. So there's three that are online right now. So I'll just say when it's your guys' turn, which is the people of the I don't know, medicine person road, I guess is how you translate that. Because Kenny Grant told me Ichtidei is the name we should give to the internet. We were calling it Kashuk Peiwu, but that was kind of a lame, grabbing it from English, but it was okay. Uh, but he said that because the Icht used to be able to talk to each other without being in the same place. I was like, oh, that's it. Uh, so I guess before we sort of start, is there anything that you guys Anything you need to help you stay in the language before we go in? Okay. 
Does that? Oh, uh, that day. <laughs> Don't forget that. I also want to mention I was gifted this wonderful uh World Encyclopedia, The Origin of Copper, uh, which is, this is just wonderful. Um, a, a lady from New Zealand, if I remember the story right, showed up in Sitka and said she had a new dictionary that she had made for the Tlingit people. And we knew that she was coming, yeah, like she let us know that she was coming. We all got kind of confused because nobody had ever heard of her. And it's, it's like we know everybody who knows Clinket, but we kind of just about know everybody. And we would especially know everybody that's doing really active work in the language. So to show up with like a nearly 600 page and to, you know, just to come into some community and say, I wrote a new dictionary for you guys. <laughs> but then we never heard of the person. We all were kind of scrambling to figure out what was going on. And then we were scrambling to try and actually stop it uh, because we had found out that she was using 100-year-old documents that are great, but we don't write like that anymore. And how could, you po how could you possibly not know the language and write a dictionary? And on the back it says, um, I'll just say Tlingit whenever she spells. She spells H-L-I-N-G-I-T. So here are the uh, highlights of this book. Learn Tlingit from a folktale. Suitable for teen readers. Dictionary. Illustrations. Guidelig. I don't know what that is. Language origin makes Native American language easier to understand. Alaskana. Celtic link sheds new light on Neanderthal. And there's a CD inside. So <laughs> I, I do think it was probably written by um, I'm very excited about that. I'm really anxious. <laughs> yeah, she's a druid. Oh, interesting. I'm very excited. Very excited. <laughs> Can I close the door? Um, the pitiful and scarce English language. A huge by my house, my computer may go dead without warning. Okay, go ahead and now. Go to Kisha, a car decade for good, just the yak and I have pushed Kakisha team. Was a puny yak. Yakeawe Yuhan Gidat Kotasati Neha Oti with Lake Hot Yukatangi. Joe Yards Tapki away Kakatu Aknuch. Her think it Yukatangi had to was a good Hatu Yeti Kreka Akoa. Her toot would do a teacher job. A joy one can ins just yet a tina hiati. Ha, was he dead Kayukatangi? Gandhi Gahti Rig, Aka Hishwasaka Oti, Hesatine Haoti, was Chadansa her to was a good adat you regard to the art, the Hishwasaka Oti. One canines are to was a good Gadankia Aku, think it your tongue, ye say ye. Ye away, a do arch, would do the ye. A do arch a gushing get a wigger his a coo. Sing it, ye say ye coa. Sing it away, gah ye should go. A data you took with a mute. One can in say cargo. A cow ark, cow ark, sing it to us two, sing it to us two. Tesk a dean coa has out a yer. A jayak to us a good one can in just cagar to us. A dancer ye to us to go a dart, a ye to arty, rock a quarty. A dart a ye to hotung. Joey, I just had da ye has tea. A sheep go hus ye hus ye saw, saw, say wah. 
Thompson Center with you gas. You Thompson Center connect the gay. Shadehain Ka Sean. Ah, us Kuya U. Whitehurst General Hospital Dika Shaa Thompson Center. Oh, no, what no. Whitehurst General Hospital to Ka at Shaa Thompson Center, Way Thompson Center. Ah, uh, Chalk Ach Art Ah Hunde Huaku. Ah, Shuganach Ach Art Kunach Dutu Dutu Ah, Busiku. Uh, I got away clef do to wish go. Click. Masa akune. De hua ach art. Ach in kamani. We shatu yegi dot. Yisikuge. Shatu yegi. Sha. Two. And yeg. Ah, oh, yegi. Shatu yegi. Uh -huh. um, so, shatu yegi. Ik aya hin ach at. Katsu. So, talk to tat ach at. We shatu yegi. Ah, wusi ach. Aya ach. We shatu yegi. Shadow dain. Ah, uh, Thompson Center, Tayi, uh, we shall to Yegi do to wish go. I got away a hot hat a yaw car, a cow a car. What a we could not go shed a henny at go. We shall to Yegi dot ye da ye car. So the cut we could Kawe Thompson Center, Kashikatwe Ka Shan, Yadach Kehas, Guhla Gas, Nakide Gushe, Gukde, Juk, Hae, Agaawe Adach Hugut, Dasaye at Gugane, We Kunagu do Shadehani Kunach. Um, a, a cook lichet. Mm. Mm -hmm. So I got away clicked a say ye a hat a diaca. So, um, a away clicked ya gi a a two shugu ya tea. A hat a in ye hat a diaca. Duke. We shall the henny hunde at goof. We shall to yegi a da ye a dai ka. So a away clear gay katunik a way at ha nigu ten. 
Whitehurst General Hospital de Hokruh, Khat Hastan, Ha'a Ha'a Wei Kunagu Shadahani, Khat of Litim, De Hua Wei Shadahani, Duin Kahunik Wei Shatu Yegi Ka Ah Dot, Wei Shadahani Kuzidain. Uwashuk. Uwashuk. Oh, Ushuk. Okay. Ushuk. Ah, ye ya waka. Wishadahani. Wutusiku. Wait, Cheese, <laughs> 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 Lillian Austin, you do a song. Du Kusti dot Ach in a Kalanik Kunach Uke Shanguki Dich City Tachdin Tanya Dich City. Hanag Kuziti Du Tlaka du Ich was dich Hiddi Hastiji Hastiji wo Hanag Ka Aisi Bay Wa Nika Bay Su Ade Hasu Kuch Talk with a tight length has to jibble. What has to jibble a claw? Has to jibble a claw? Has to jibble a In a Kawanik, just think that you a tangi tin has Uthi Yer Nuch to Plakigi, where are do Huni away as Goon Day has Wushi to Plakigi, a Kurk Day has Wudashi. Has 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 us yet a good game you do a sock. Handkerchief team has us has us yet. I think it's Sai Yeyawaka. Hagu a gawe chitle ayashuk a gawe do eat kuaha. Chat was the coon and doctor game. Kunafuk a kwa. Chakut skashnigi that. Yarigi Anschkalt, 
Uh, mm. De kanachutu adi rawe yik e as wutu sitin et awe kinde wutu achi edeshe. Like chet ka ach ik we as kinde wutu et et. Kilde et ah. Ach <laughs> 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 to a sheikh or a khande u sheikh a kaidli ah khanakh sachan qua hat auch ey du yet khanakh Homework. <laughs> Yeah, 
ku tatwe awa gait ach ke khat wudzigit. Okay. Yeah, to screen question and cake into a guess agreed that. Yeah, I can't. I just came. You had to a sack. Um. And Cindy Kark a sugar clan. Eh, our de Axi Axi a yagayi. Jin kat ka dak un. Nes dak. Nes dak. We went, um, Washington, Ka, Oregon, Ka, next day, um, Cheese. The care and cheese. Yet away a dark you to hot and quiet. Isaku a day a day the two year. Clay, dare, nask, they do shoot a kadushu, naskadushu, kushuk, jin card. Ye away card, card ek tin away to two. Hai away out the two, card car. Ye away with two satin, shook or kinde. A car yinde a each air, yinde a tech claim, yinde a shy a cargo, yinde a one catch air. A car tech a wooshin. In a sugar, ah, yet the cot goose who shook in a county, a car, gin cart, a twig to dehi a yin. Yet the two was cock up the two. Clay nach, dach nach, nasky nach, dahuni nach, kitchen enough. Cart jacunsa, jacuni nach, so way. A car was. Play the heen, duck the heen, nasked the heen, duck on the heen, 
Yuhan, ka yuhan, ka yuhan, ka yuhan. Yet we adat you to Hotam. Yahasaka one next to it. Ya just has the in Kahonigan, a ya, the ark. Kaka nach, a yaka got to ark, think it your tongue to the yehi. A ka ye away, then a ya, the ye dark, the cut you hard. Ya ach two ye ke a dan. What Yetlingitrinakro. <laughs> You have a this Ye <laughs> Ya ach aye awa ka kus ya kus ya dushi awa ye dat ye shi ka wan kanin zwe tu chka ye shi ka khas a tu de awa awa ke shi tu shi a khawe a khawe ha ye we wan ane sowe. Kone ayash with the tooth. Yana 
cut away with the key. Akayas will set so. Kajia hitty a yard clay wush canach with the arty high yuk tangi da. A joy hell was a cup of tea. Heshach to a school a duck a yard here hately. Uhanaya had to was a good canach away bush, yet to a darky, wunch in. Kusachantin. Ye were her in a cowardly gay, a gay at the singet and a cock with the tea. Which is a crew at Joe Cadena Yakagati Arknish. Ye away a dissuade that when a cat's good Elizabeth Pradovich Hall, ye do a sock, play cock in a little bit Day a yanach, a yanach away. Day a Dad hit this away, waiter. Just like a hina had clothes. Do in Kahuni Kaja hit a drag gaja hit ye to a saga at one pence. Kaja hit ye away sahuach way Kuch ish hedach Johnny C. Jackson. Kaja Kaja hit her car. No. Ah, cut your head away. No. Ish hit. Get to two Donna Walk, Ada, Chah, you do a sock way. A toot who good deed at Yale to claw. Oh. Chalk away, green. Oh, yeah, away, chalk. Uh, uh, Shah in Tuck Westby. Oh. Yeah, okay. Shoe crossing it's I. Okay. Huh. Can I take a yaw away? Yes, Kashnik, he's Yet, to us a good cartoon. Ya, ah, yet, he has the in. Schachschachschachschachschachschachschachschachschachschachschachschachschachschachschachschachschachschachschachschachschachschachschachschachschachschachschachschachschachschachschachschachschachschachschachschachschachschachschachschachschachschachschachschachschachschachschachschachschachsch
uh, uh, so, see, yeah, uh, wait. So, ach tu sigu. Dictionary of Singit, um, but I can't remember what we were working on at the time. But we have uh, Chukun had a list of questions that Dostya wanted us to ask, and then I remembered Shakwan. Um, what it said was Bo. Oh, it's, she was looking for a word for one of her lists, um, but it didn't explain whether it was like a hair bow or like a shooting bow. So we wanted to know what it was. Okay, in the room we're, we're hearing a hair bow. Let me see. So this big list of uh, nouns. I think I've got this under um, on clinkitlanguage.com. I think it's just on forward slash nouns. If we're ever stuck on some nouns, we can look here and usually find stuff. And it's a bow of hair. And then sometimes we get some more explanations. Shapuan. So it specifically sounds like hair tied in a bunch. And if there's a... We were talking about this the other day, too. Uh, the fact that there's... Maybe I'll turn this on. Is uh, just some body parts, and we were doing this Waldorf training these last couple of days, and, and talking about like rhythms and sounds and stuff like this. And the other day, we were doing just some body part things, and some of these body parts, like people, there's some of them that people don't say, but we see them embedded in other things. So if you start like right here at the base of your neck. And we're not going to add any kind of pronoun, but we'll just say sa. 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 Now we move up to here, this whole thing that our head sits on. Sha. 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 And you need all those 
those things to make language, right? It's so it's such a neat thing, right? But so from chl, uh you could tell that chl means neck, and that sa is this sort of base right here. And there's a couple things that reveal it, and so one is I'll say sa pops up in nouns. So when you say chaach, I heard it. Sa chaach, I heard a voice, right? Uh, and so, and we were going through this today with the kids. And I'll just say, we worked with the kids for like an hour and a half. And by the end, I was just teasing as, as the kids are leaving. And I was like, <laughs> thanks, for getting, thanks for going away. <laughs> if you think about this, so you, there's this phrase, you can say, ach. <laughs> And if you if you if you're ever working with kids, that's a good one to know. Ach itzach is listen, but it could also mean like I'm about to tell you what to do. That, that's the kind of context I think of with that one. Ach it is give me some time so that you can hear what I'm gonna say. It's slightly different, right? Like take some time to listen. Ach it ach, and so you could find both of these. Uh, in the in, in the carry stuff, I'm not going to look it up. Uh, they they both they have different conjugation classes, and then the, you have um, so you have the and the sa in there, right? Or no, it's an S classifier. So sa means to listen. So the classifier changes because someone is doing that thing, as opposed to just sort of. You can hear something or you can listen, right? So these are just really interesting things where the, the classifier switches the difference between just sort of like, I heard it, I was listening for it. Because then we were, you could say, ach, listen to my mouth. Ach, ach. Just, you know, pay attention to what's what I'm saying, right? And you got to do it in the right context. You got to do it in the right, you know, these are things you could say if like you're trying to get the attention of the room but if you're starting a speech and people are already listening to you you probably shouldn't say either of those right but in the context of you know kids or, or other things like that uh, you might need to say that or if say we're in clink and immersion and we're in a boat and the boat tips over we're just trying to tell people but we don't need to switch to English but we need to get some important things to say <laughs> right? like I'm going to tell you how to survive <laughs> but then um, we had a stethoscope and so someone was like well, what about this one I was like oh <laughs> listen to my heart right? and so the ach <laughs> so the suck part falls away it's all part of a long answer to that original question so if we see Shakwan, and it comes up as a hair, a hair tied into a knot. Then we see shakwan, hair tied into a knot. What that tells you is those are probably really similar things. But one's probably up on top of the head, like what what shakwan aya man banye do a sabki. That's wrong. Although you know it could be a ballerina, but whatever. But and then shakwan would be one closer to the neck, right? So sha. These things, they reveal themselves by the following patterns. Sa, we can figure out as this base of the neck thing, because Lear's got it written down. But also, how does he, how did he figure this stuff out? Probably talking to people. And I think sometimes speakers aren't always really exact with some of these body parts. But then you start to see like, saint is a necklace. And it's from sa, ut. Those things add up, you get saint. Uh, so, what is the other one? Sada tai is a scarf, warms up this part of the body. Uh, uh, there's a couple others too, I'm not thinking of them now. But then kla. We know that kla is the neck because kletuch is inside of the neck, and that's the throat, but it's not the outside of the neck. That would just be kla. We don't talk about it a whole lot. But then the other thing is shadik is the back of the neck, and dik is your back. So then it reveals itself that way. 
shaka is the inside of the mouth, but in the clinket way of thinking, inside of the mouth, like you might say, a two? No, it's shaka. It's on top of the throat. That's just that's just how you think of it in clinket. And then, but eh and sa are the only ones. There's no sha in the verbs, so the se has to do with the voice. The e has to do with the mouth or an opening. And something you're going to see consistently with ka and sa is how the verb forms of them is they'll change to e and se in third person perfective. Khat se wa at yu e watan. And so, uh, that's the one. And so, these lists are fun to look at sometimes and to think about how to sort of tease these things apart. So let's reflect a little bit <coughs> on our immersion experience. So you have to get do do kari tin kase kaya. Exhaust pipe. Okay. Is that a word for funny? Yeah. As an adjective? Yes. Oh, well, or, or usually, so like here's another classifier switch, right? So, um, a shuk, he or she is laughing. A yashuk, he or she is smiling. Yawa shuk, he or she smiled. Awa shuk, or awa wu shuk, he or she uh, he or she laughed at something, right? It's funny. Uh, he or she says funny things. So, yes. So, it goes from to shuku. Shishuku shkatnik aya. This is a funny story. And I, I don't know if there's a word for like jokes. We gotta have a word. I think we need a word for jokes to say you could throw it in there, either before or after. I think before, because then people will be thinking about those connections. Just kind of like with my husband, we're always like, oh, that's funny. You know, because like, <laughs> we pride ourselves on being kind of jokesters. Yeah. Yeah. Like when you make a good pun or a good turn of word phrase or something, like, so could you use that it's funny as a sort of just as a short way of kind of acknowledging someone's wit? Yeah, you can say you're funny. You said something you 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 made a, you talked fun you said something that was funny. <laughs> could be taking you know, in the right context it could be fine, but in other ways it could be like A reflection on our immersion experience, I would say, oh, <laughs> there's a lot I need to learn. Yeah. I understood like a little bit of most of what people said, and sometimes I was really lost. But um, but it's good to uh, hear the language being used in a real way to tell real, st not in a real way, but like sometimes it seems more formal, or if you're just listening to a recording, of an elder telling a story or something, it, it's not like a back and forth kind of a thing where people are, that's, and people are using hand gestures so you can kind of guess a little better if there's parts you don't understand. So I think it's great. <laughs> Thank you everybody for being here. Okay. There was another one I thought of. Ach, um, he or she was scared of it. Ach. Mm -hmm. But then you could say, I think it's do tukuati. That's to be like kunach kawachik. Do tukuati. I don't know why.
It's really easy. It's an easy one. Do you say So you say ach I was terrified. Um, and I can't see who left a comment. Oh, totally lost was better than the first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so one, one thing I was say is, that I firmly believe if we keep doing it, and you keep, you just keep pushing yourself. I think the English side of your brain, my experience, is going to say, "I don't want this anymore," <laughs> right? And it'll just be like, "Hey, let's think about this thing." Right? It's like this, like really devilish like type of thing and be like no nah, don't do that let's think about like and it could be the most I find this too like I'll be just talking with some speaker like some elder just the weirdest random English thought will pop up in my brain and sometimes just gotta be like no <laughs> but, but you do have to push yourself but then you take notes or do other things and and, and just be okay if you don't understand it because if we were learning some other language and we went to that country, it would probably be a similar experience, no matter how long we sort of studied that language. But now we have to, we have to not only learn it, be, be the manufacturer of it, the environment, right? So. Is the um, Kahitki yes booklet available anywhere? Yeah, it's on Klingit language doc. It's under the intermediate okay. Klingit thing. Um, it's still, it needs a lot of proofreading, but at some point we'll probably have some fo published form of it. Okay. And then the idea was probably having one, a little book, but then having maybe little flip things that we could have in each room. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Any other thoughts? Oh. Uh, oh, uh, that's a good one. Because I notice uh, sometimes we want to sort of transition, like if we're telling a story. And so, just means, and then. And that's such a good tool to use. Because you can kind of give yourself a little pause, right? And you, you put it together in your brain, right? And it takes a lot of, you know, I, I think a lot about understanding a language and making a language, right? So that's what I was saying, like, is to understand and that comes from taking the time to listen to people then you understand but when you make it so that understanding and knowledge so we call it like I could say it I know it right and you gotta be careful because you're not trying to brag about this stuff. But just you want to know it. But then sometimes I'll say, "Ituwasugu shingit yishugugu." So shikuk yishikuk would be you. You understand how to put how to do that thing. So siku is knowledge. So you say "Huasaku huasaguk huasaku." I know that information. I know how to do that thing. So I think through listening, you get that knowledge of, you, know, you get to understand. But to, you have to manufacture it, which is, it's hard stuff, and I really appreciate it. Because I know it takes a lot of, I did, I worked for 10 hours, and now I could do 30 seconds, right? So, but <laughs> you gotta, you gotta do both, and, and this is the, this is the hard part, this is why a lot of people jump off the kelp island and just drown I'm <laughs> they just, but you know there's a lot of people who don't who don't come back at this particular point because you can get and you because you start to learn and then you start to sort of understand a few things like when you're first on your journey and then you start oh I can just learn all these new nouns and all these new phrases and then we're like okay now let's make language and you're just like I remember the first time I went to immersion I had these insane crazy headaches and I just had to go take these Naps. I would wake up from these naps. And I'd be like, "What year is it? Where am I? Like, Where am I? You know, like okay, I'm in Glacier Bay. How long has it been? Fifteen minutes? Like, it was just. It was something else. I just remember thinking about that a lot. So. Um, and it can also kind of 
uh, let you know which which words or phrases are used a lot in in just kind of telling a story, for example. So I asked uh, um, Mallory, yeah, Mallory, uh, Mallory what a Kalanikini was. Um, so she was saying like she said or he said. So like yeah. if you were relaying uh, you know, a story that would be an important thing. And I, a lot of you mentioned that, and I kept going, Oh, I don't know what that means, but it must be important. So, oh, yeah, <laughs> you so know, that's the kind of thing that's so a kawanik is to like give news or information. Uh, doc, is that doc? Doc, I think maybe doc, oh, doc, 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 kawanik is to explain something, yeah. I, I think I've seen it once. News. Leah wrote it with doc, yeah. and then some neek thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so neek is news or gossip. Okay, that's like, ha, sense. Ide kakun, <laughs> <laughs> I'm Kanye. I'm going to tell you all the juicy gossip. Get away, whoosh has put a shah hook or do in here. Whoosh kashye a yanis he. That's a fun. Shkashye ye, no, shkashye. They made promiscuous. How would you say it? Kashiye is promiscuous. They got promiscuous together. They certainly weren't supposed to. Um, <laughs> but th those are a couple good things. Uh, I want to, Shonda Kate, your second one is uh, because of that. So whenever we start using language, we always want to think about how do we tie things together? Aqa away is and then. Dakh away is also sort of fall, it's after that, or from that, but maybe it has a little bit more cause, right? And so, ach away is because of that. So they're very closely related. But in the context of some of the stories we heard, like, I, we drove out, and then I walked with the dogs, and then, yeah, so those are all kind of and then things. We climbed a tree, the dog went away, came back with poop all over his face. <laughs> I did catch up. <laughs> now that might be time for like an adaha way, because now, like, be, now things have changed, right? So something changes our course, that's an acha way, right? So the acha way would be like, you're pointing back to something that was said, and you're saying, because of that, there is this thing, right? And so, um, some of the other things that we were talking about is, so there's a kawanik, mm -hmm. which is uh, to say something, to just to tell something, right? Uh, and then a kaushanik would be to tell a story, or sometimes you'll say, Shkaudlinik is another way to tell a story. Then there's Yeya Waka. He or she said that. Ye Yausepa is sort of like they they made some kind of declaration, maybe. Like a, that's how you would say like a, a promise or, or something. It's getting more specific. Then there's Ye Adayaka, which is they said this exact thing. That's the big quotation mark, you know, with the Death Star, <laughs> Dr. Evil Death. But, and so those are some things that are good to know. And then to get some of those command, command forms of those, like, you know, she told me to tell him, or you could say, usually that's probably what I would say, Well, I guess it's, so she told me to go tell him. She told me to go tell him. She told me to go say this. So they're both not conjugations, which shows us. But, you know, telling, saying, and then like, I talked about it. So they're, they're, they're related, but just slightly different things. So, say it again. Yeah, say it again. But means 
to see the how would you say the uh, Yonaka Raven said that something is, is that well, so you know, yeah, 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 is a command from still say it. Yeah, right. uh, um, yeah, 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 Raven said this thing, <coughs> right? And then, yeah, yeah, Saka, Raven made this promise or this kind of declaration. Mm -hmm. So it's not anymore about like, it's a little bit less about what was said, but what that means that it was sort of, sort of said that way. Right. Or then, um, but this is how you do it. And then he or she said, and yeah. do that thing. Yeah. Okay. Is um, is that one you'd use like if you're making a big speech and quoting like someone from the past? And, and yeah, and yeah, probably. Because then it's it's really honing in on this these the specific wording, mm. right? Sometimes, that's one too, uh, the mother of the Pacific Ocean was saying, um, yeah, right, was uh, showing us these decessives, right? So decessives are really interesting too. So you basically put in or un on the end of a perfective, and it means it used to be like that. So they'll say, ye they, they used to say this, right? Somebody used to say it. Um, and then we were talking about how it's it's a pretty straightforward thing. The classifier should always be minus i because it means it used to be that way, but it's not anymore. So you could say wuchin um, People used to tell stories to each other. But you're really saying it doesn't happen anymore. And this is this is some subtle differences. So achjiwu, I have it, but that's not a verb. So if you want to move it around, that to, you know, you can say, I have it or I don't have it. And all you're just saying, it's located in my possession or it isn't. But if you want to say, like, I had, there's two basic ways to say it. So now it's just the yeyati verb. That's all it is. It's just the ye to live somewhere or to be somewhere. Or you can say, wave, iPhone. 3,000 or whatever, right? Like, I'm going to have, I'm going to have it. But, I had it. But if you're really talking about the fact that you don't have it anymore, that's that decessive popping on there. It means it's not there anymore. And this is why you say, that's what they used to be called, but they're gone now. And we just, we just know that. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we're talking about some subtle differences. Like you could say, Khwasaku, and I used to know it. I don't know. I don't know. Or you could say, I didn't know that. But now I do. So it could, it could make... There's some really interesting ways to look at that. Because you could say... I guess you could say... I don't know how you'd say it. Because it seems like A and Ka. That doesn't work. Like, hmm, I don't know. I have to ask somebody. Anyways, I overthought. Other things that you were thinking about? I made up a little bit of a conspiracy theory <coughs> when you were talking about these things. Because it got ya, sha, sla, mm -hmm. and sa. So it got all the uh, all minus up. v, <laughs> minus i. No. Oh, actually, th those aren't those all are most classifiers. Mm -hmm. They're not all in the same slot, but it's all four of them. One right. from each one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's a plus i though, which is so interesting. Because you have a ya, yeah. so you have sa, sa, ya, and this one becomes, it goes from mm -hmm. mm -hmm. sha, sha. Let's take a look at, uh, oh, let me spell Hwasaku and let me grab this. So we got, uh, um, 
I had a hard time when I first heard talk about what your producer had been telling me. I just like couldn't find the right <laughs> verbs or the right, like I was thinking, I was like, oh, if I talk about something that already happened, then that will be a little bit easier for me to talk about. But then I just like, I had all these things I wanted to say, but I couldn't figure out how to say them. Oh. So I switched, and I wasn't sure if I wanted to tell the dog story, because I wasn't sure how gross it <laughs> out. It was kind of like a nice therapy session for me. It's a little bit traumatizing, and then I can talk about it with some people that are very kind of understanding. And then, like, you could say, Chat she or he made this promise to me. And then, so it kind of depends on the context, how you could sort of interpret those things. But Akhinakawanik would be like one of these things. And then you could say, like, Chan, Ha'in Kadunik, like, it was told to us. And these are when you're getting into these big kind of life lesson type of things and so but in the context of just some she said so like the difference between those two seems to be is focused on what they the words that they said is on that content right like that information instead of the actual words themselves Okay, so we'll finish with some negativity. How fun is that? Uh, so objects, subjects, and uh, negative negativity. So think about this slide, uh, and then I had to put Oscar in here. Uh, just because I loved working with George Davis. and uh, There's a lot of these things that we drill where I just took it to him. I was like, okay, we're going to get every possible combination of all these different things. So we, when I sat there with him, I was like, that's it. I love you. And then he'd say, I'd say I love y'all. And he'd say, I'd say, I love them. And I'd say, I love him or her. And we just, we had this order. And he was just so good at just saying these things. And then it was fun to, for me to predict them and see which ones I was wrong on. Because I think that's pretty fun to see. And then we got to the negatives. And I was like, I don't love you. <laughs> <laughs> His wife, Agate, is here in the other room. Eeshan! <laughs> <laughs> but then he gave me, then he gave us some, a few gems as we sort of started just talking about it and laughing. And then he said, I don't love anything. So if you have that means not anything. But then the verb still goes negative. And the first time I thought about this, uh, we're talking about, let's talk about some things with my uncle. I don't need to give it any context. And he said, And I was like, whoa. Because he said, they don't know anything. That's what he told me. But then I noticed that the verb went negative. Because on its own means nothing. Right? But That doesn't mean I love nothing. It means I don't love anything. Right? Because we remember that can come just to mean like whatever. Whatever, right? Like for example, I could say, um, uh, right? I could say there were all kind. There were lots of animals there, and then I could say, you know, start naming them: uh, lynx and a wolf and a deer whatever. It's just like saying, okay, and so on, kind of a thing. So dasa could come on the end of some list. Uh, so we come back and we just sort of see uh, just some things and, and thinking about these, the order of these pronouns when we see them in verbs. This would be like to me. So we've said here like uh, achin. Uh, 
ha ina kawanik e ina kawanik ye ina kawanik do ina kawanik has to in ku in you know ka in sorry and then you can see here's the objects here's the subjects and so we've gone over this stuff but the th this the the main part of this is to remember the thematic stuff always comes in between the object and the subject the ka the sh the sh the ya if they're attached to the verbs, they always go right here. And then the subjects come, and then you get the classifier and the root. That's always the order. Uh, and then we went over a few of these. So these are the types of thematic prefixes that we're going to see quite a bit. K, k, and k. J, t, s, or s, sh, da, k, k, or k, sh, Sh, a, k, k, or ya. And so to sort of start changing uh, this, what are we changing here? The object. So here the, the object is in purple. So if we're going to, you know, this is, we're doing the loving here. So everybody say, chasechan. Chasechan. Ichsechan. Yichsechan. Shchadzechan. Hachsechan. So these ones get a little number one because you could grammatically say that, but you probably shouldn't say that. Right. Those are not culturally appropriate things to say. It just, you try not to brag on yourself or do too much stuff like that. Uh, but, you could put this into other contexts. You could say, Shchodzatin, I saw myself, right? But it gets weird and to say things like, I saw us and stuff that's a little, you could say them, but they're a little strange. So now we'll change the subject, right? So here are the subjects in red. And then you, you could start putting these things into any conceivable object-subject combination. There's lots of uh, possibilities, but it's finite, right? There's only so many. So, chasechan, tusechan, isechan, yisechan, asechan, hasasechan. So when we go up here, um, well, I guess that's not a third person, so. But this one, the subjects are all in red, so how come there's nothing red on here? Because zero, right? The subject is a zero, so you only really see and hear the object in there, right? So now once we go negative, we're going to throw this thing in there called the irrealis. So we've seen a perfective marker, and we're going to, next week we'll go back and we'll keep drilling those perfectives, and we'll keep thinking about that perfective, and we'll talk about what that perfective, well, I'll just tell you right now. The perfective marker is we write it as a Y with two dots over it and a U. That perfective marker, what that does is it says, let's talk about the verb specifically as to whether or not it has happened. It has nothing to do with time. It just says, has it happened or not? That's all that really matters. And then it's either yes or no. So you can either go positive or negative. And then you know, saw it, didn't see it, right? The irrealis is the letter U. And what that says, it specifically says the verb has not happened. Doesn't mean it won't, because all future modes are going to contain the irrealis. The irrealis just says it has not happened. And the irrealis and the perfective can come together, but they're going to contract a little bit different. So this is why you'd say, khwasiku, kesh khwasaku. You'd say, Ausiku Kesh Awasku. And there's a couple of different, there's a, a number of different things that come. But anytime the irrealis is there, well, I don't want to say that. Most of the time, the irrealis is there. The classifier will have to be minus i. Because right? the classifier is minus i when it has not specifically happened. There are times you can have an irrealis and a plus i. I'm not going to get into that. So, this is what we're going to get in all of these cases. And so it's just going to sound a little different. So let's run through this one one more time. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
the positive form. Chesachan. Tusachan. Isachan. Yisachan. Asachan. Hasasachan. Kesh Uchsachan. Kesh Has Uchsachan. Kesh Ichsachan. Kesh Yuchsachan. Kesh Schwaschan. Kesh Hauchsachan. So we just get that little extra sound, and so the the kesh is one part, and it could be kesh, kesh, hesh. Uh, but then you can. This is what the verb is going to look like, though. So the classifier is going to go minus i because it hasn't happened, and you're going to get this uh sound at the beginning, right? And so you you've got to be able to catch those things, and so what we've got to remember. The order is always going to go like this object, thematic prefix, conjugating prefixes, subject classifier. Anytime you want to move that thing, future, perfective, negative, it's always going to go into those conjugation prefixes. The irrealis is in there, the perfective is in there, there's other things to put it into the future, and so this is it's where the magic is going to happen, it's right there. So you would see that you in the chain? In no, because uh, so whenever you see the theme, it's not going to show you like the perfective, and those are things you turn on to put the verb into a certain mode. So they don't write it in there. But if you did, that that is where it would go. There is the only time you see the irrealis written into the theme is when there's this one thematic prefix up here. Uh, which is ka compared to. A lot of times you're going to see the irrealis there because you're kind of, and I don't know really why, but that's why you say ye uh, gay, it's big, ye ku gay. That's where you get the ku sound in there because you're comparing it to something. It's this big instead of it's big. Okay, so now we're going to change, th and so this one we're just changing the object again. So now let's change the subject. Kesh uchsachan. Kesh tusachan. Kesh, oh wait. Sorry. Kesh isachan. Kesh yisachan. Kesh usachan. Kesh has usachan. Oops, I said that one wrong. Kesh usachan. So then, uh, well, we'll do this and then we'll just sort of close off on this point probably. Uh, Seth Cable was showing us some things where there's a few, there's a handful of verbs where there's a positive form, a negative form, and then an antonym, like the opposite of that thing. And there's some of these where you don't really hear people say the middle one that often. But you do, you do hear it. So for something to be good, you can say, yuck a. Yuck a. For not good, tesh uk a. Tesh uk a. And for bad or terrible, kesh ushke. Kesh ushke. For smart, ya kudzege. Ya kudzege. Not smart, kesh ya kuske. Kesh ya kuske. And for dumb, kesh ya kuske. Kesha Kushke Lucky Shechait Shechait Not Lucky Kesh Ushait Kesh Ushait Unlucky Kesh Ushait Kesh Ushait Tidy Yanik. 
Yanik Tess Unik Tess Unik Tess Usnik Tess Usnik Tess Usnik Tess so I ended on a negative note. <laughs> yeah. But now it makes sense. It didn't make sense on the previous slide when you're talking about the U and there was no, there were no U's there. And I was like, oh, but now I see you've got the U's added to the negatives and and the most negative. Yeah. So the classifier. These are all going from plus i to minus i. Ya to zero. Z to s. Sh to sha. Ya to zero. S to sa and then uh to sha okay any other questions you okay. can't have oh I'll ask you to ask you first okay goodness cheese you hon you can't have we you go I have one cheese you can't have ah you can't have